Hey, you can see it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you forgot your lunch. Have a great day. I love you, honey. I love you, honey. I love you, honey. I... <laughs> David Doolittle, you are such a wimp. Are you gonna cry right now? Oh my god, you're gonna cry, you poor little baby. You little sissy. <laughs> And as promised, we got some great elective classes for you this semester. One class in particular that we're excited about is called Fashion and Photography. So, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce the new instructor for this class. She's got real world experience and, well, we're lucky to have her. Nice round of applause for Ms. Jennifer Higgins. Hi guys, I'm very happy to join the faculty here at Palm Vista High this fall. As someone who photographed top models in New York, I plan to share my knowledge to help you tap into the creative side that I bet you didn't even know you had. Now obviously, a interest in fashion and photography is helpful. <laughs> of course, there are those who are Neanderthals and have no interest in anything other than being jerks. <laughs> Okay guys, next we're gonna break into teams. And each team's job is to produce a fashion campaign, which means the following. You pick the clothes. I want you thinking about colors, textures. Go through your closet, go to a thrift store. Get creative, ask yourself, what are we saying with these fabrics? You know, think about the time period. What's the message? Some of you took sewing classes, that's great. Modify the garments. You wanna make your own? Be my guest. Just do whatever you have to do to get the look you want. Excellent job, Caitlin. Oh, check this out. Caitlin, everybody. Next, you're gonna model the clothes. And that means everybody. Go, oh, Brittany. Look at her face. You see how she's calm? She has no emotions? That's perfect. Why? Because it's about the damn clothes. This is not an acting class, so I don't want to see a performance up there, all right? It's not tight enough. Fix it, dork. <laughs> After that, we design the set, light it, and we shoot. I've got cameras, lights, everything we need. Excuse me, Miss Higgins? Yes. Uh. I signed up for my elective late. Is, is there any chance I can join your class? What's your name? It's, uh, it's David Doolittle. Tell me, David. What interests you in fashion and photography? I'm not really interested in the fashion side. I, I really want to learn about cameras. Go join that team. Thank you, thanks. Hi. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. That, um, that jacket you made, that was really cool. Yeah. Brittany didn't think so. Don't listen to Brittany. She can be a real bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, I was wondering, uh I was I was thinking maybe you and I I was, I was wondering if... I have a French quiz that I've got to study for. Yeah, yeah, me too. You aren't taking French? Yeah. Bye. Hi, David. 
Hey, hi, Miss Higgins. Listen, I have a client that needs a young guy to model clothes for her new line. Well, there's that guy in class, uh, Greg? I was thinking you. Me? <laughs> it's a joke, right? I think with a little polish, you'd look great on camera. And, uh, I think that might help your situation with the ladies. A situation? What do you mean, my... Okay, you're right. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I just can't see it. I can't. changed and I'll set up the lights. Okay. you, David. Are we done yet? Nice outfit. Let me see. Okay, come on. What are you doing? Lighting you. you text me? Sorry. Whoa. What the hell happened to you? Do you remember the fashion and photography class I told you about? Yeah. Well, we shot late. Yeah, and, and who bought these clothes? Part of the class. It's a very nice haircut, too. Who paid for that? Uh, we have people in the class that do hair, makeup, wardrobe. I'm in the camera department. Yeah, looks like you're in the modeling department. Well, I was tonight, but we rotate jobs, so. Well, you look very nice. Whatever. You're not paying for any of this? No, Mom.
Do you know? You don't know? No, what? Check it out, dude. You're famous. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Hey, you. Oh, my God. I'll see you later. I can't believe it. Look at David Doolittle. No way that's him. Yeah, it is too. So Ms. Higgins shot these. Yeah, right here. She got him in the magazine. How much we do? Whatever. That? He's still a freaking blowtard. <laughs> I can't believe that you got to do this. Man. Hey. Catch you later. Hi. Nice picture. Thank you. David, look. I haven't always been nice to you. I know I can be kind of moody, <laughs> but there's a party this weekend, and I'd totally love it if you would come as my date. What about Trey? What about him? After the party, I know somewhere that we can go and, you know, relax. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> hey, Miss Higgins. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. My clients are ecstatic. We're gonna be doing a lot more of this kind of work. I don't know what to say. How about I'd be glad to do another photo shoot for you? Yeah, yes, totally. This weekend? I have a, I have to write this huge report for history this weekend. And I got invited to a party with Brittany. Can you believe that? She wants me to be her date. I, uh, I can't believe it. I've seen her game. Rude to everyone. Especially you. She was. Uh, but she apologized, so we're cool now. Okay. Well, just don't mess up that beautiful face. I won't. And thank you, again, for everything. Really? Mm I found you. What? Is something wrong? I just got off the phone with my client and they want me to do a photo shoot immediately. Okay, and you're telling me this because? Brittany, come on. You're top model material, isn't it obvious? <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, if you say so. This is for Elle Magazine. Elle Magazine? The one and only. <gasps> oh my God. I know, right? Thousand bucks cash, uh -huh. but I have to do it tonight. Is that a yes? Yes. <laughs> Good. Big smile. Beautiful. Love that. Flip your hair for me. Just off your shoulder. Perfect. You are so right for this job. At first, I didn't really believe you took photos of New York models, but you totally know what you're doing. <laughs> you know what? Can you? Stand and face me. 
Great, awesome. So, word around campus is that you're seeing David Doolittle. Oh, that. <laughs> um, well, can I be honest? Of course. David does look a lot better than he did. You know what, can you just go more profile, just to your left? Beautiful. Basically, I'm just hooking up with David to make Trey jealous. Why do you think you need to do that? Because. Trey just takes me for granted. He thinks he can do whatever he wants with me. All guys do. All men do, you know? Can you take a step up for me? I think, I think this is too high. Oh, you're fine. Actually, you know what, can you just stay right there? I'm gonna fix your hair. Hurts. Not as much as this is going to. Ah! And that's a wrap. How was your day? Not so good. I had the um, memorial for Brittany. I'm so sorry about your friend. But David, can you uh, explain this? Yeah. Uh, this is for you. It's uh, money that I made, modeling. I only can help you with the bills. You want to see? Here. What do you think? I, mean, I, I don't want you helping me, okay? This is why I work two jobs, so that you can focus on your education. Yeah, but you need the money. But I'm handling the finances just fine, thank you very much. Even without the help of your deadbeat dad, wherever he is. Have you heard from him? Still in Palmdale in the trailer. Listen, I, I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. I, I really feel like I'm old enough to help you now. Just let me. Okay, so um, all of these clothes here, these were all provided by the school? Or did that teacher, what's her name? Miss Higgins. Miss Higgins, did, did she buy these for you? I mean, just some of them. And this picture right here, were there other students there when you took this or were you alone with her? Okay, did, did she touch you? Did she come on to you? Nothing happened. I don't like the way this sounds at all. I am calling Principal Wilson. Wait, hold on. I said nothing happened. All right, Miss Higgins is totally cool. She really sees my potential in this. She's the only person that's ever actually taken the time to listen to me. Uh, what about me? I listen to you. No, you don't. 
ever. You you always just lecture me all the time. I don't. All the time. I yes, don't you do. lecture you. I'm just trying to help you. Honey, I love you. I know, I know, but you stop treating me like I'm five years old, okay? Look, I'm gonna keep modeling for Miss Higgins, and I'm gonna help you pay the bills. Sorry. I got homework. Mm hmm. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. I just hair and makeup now. Come on, put your stuff down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Andrew, Jennifer, how are my girls doing? Um, great. What are you doing in LA? I thought you were in New York. Moved out here about a month ago. Got a nice place, Hollywood Hills. Love it. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. So who's the new guy? Who's his manager? I'm not sure. That's it for today, everyone. Great job. Bye, David. Hi, David. Andrea Rogers. I'm here with Barbara and Nancy. Here you might be needing a new rep. A rep? An agent. So I want to get you work, handle your career well. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you? You know what? Call me. I get these girls big money jobs all the time. I can do the same for you. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Miss Higgins, thank you so much. I don't even know Look, what to say. It's... You don't know how this industry works. It's all about loyalty. I created you. I'm not gonna let some manager take you away from me. Oh, no, of course not. It's just, she said she could get me some big money gigs. So. I can get you the gigs. I mean, who got you your first job in this one? Right. But, I mean, she seems like a really big agent, so. <sighs> that woman is all talk. She's not going to do anything for you. Trust me. This is a champagne moment for you. It's your first contract. I mean, it just, it basically puts into writing everything that we're already doing. I'm your manager. We work together. Standard percentage. Read it. Sign it and done. Yeah, I'd, um, is it okay if I saw my mom look over it first? <laughs> you're old enough to make your own decisions, aren't you? I mean, you're not a kid anymore. You're doing the right thing, David. Thanks, Miss Higgins. Call me Jennifer. So what you're saying to me is that well, models are real people too? Yep. They're pretty. But they have to use the bathroom like everyone oh. else. <laughs> Andrea, hi. H how did you? I saw your magazine cover, did a little research, and voila, here I am. Uh, David, come here. So I know I said that I was not big on modeling, but Andrea here has assured me that it would only be part-time and only if it did not interfere with your studies. Absolutely. I tell all my models, education comes first. So, I am looking at Andrea's contract here. And, and if I'm okay with it, as your legal guardian, I will sign this. Andrea, I'm, I'm totally flattered by this. But I already signed the contract with Jennifer the other day. What? May I look at it? Yeah. Sorry. Of the 10 items in here, only two are actually acceptable. Mm. It was obviously written by someone who doesn't understand entertainment law. Also, you're not 18, so... The contract is, as they say, not worth the paper it's printed on. David, honey, why didn't you show that to me before you signed it? 
I know you wouldn't have signed it. And yet, here I am with Andrea, and I'm considering signing her contract because she is a legitimate agent and not a school teacher. Here. You and your mom go over my contract carefully. I represent several top name models. Some of them are millionaires. They're all under 23. I'm gonna have to talk to an attorney. Please do. I, I would never sign any contract without having my lawyer look at it first. Just take your time. I want you to feel comfortable doing this. Yeah. Thank you, Andrea. That means a lot. See you later. David. So glad you're here. Hey, can you believe it? I just lined up another job for you. Jennifer, I need to tell you something. Yeah, of course. I'm always here for you. I signed a contract with Andrea. She came to my house and she told my mom that modeling would only be a part-time thing and that I could go to college and everything. She said I could make a lot of money. I offered you the exact same thing. I mean, there isn't anything that but I- I'm still a minor. Andrea said your contract's illegal and that hers was the real deal. I don't care what Andrea said. I've known that woman for years and she's no good, believe me. Please don't be angry. Sorry. Jennifer, what are you doing here? I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, you really should have called. I'm, I'm busy. Please, it's important. Is anyone here? It's kind of private. Or alone? You want some tea? No, thanks. Listen, you can't take David away from me. You gotta let him out of his contract. I knew this was coming. Sweetheart, you're not an agent. You're a photographer. But I discovered him. Mm -hmm. I, I created him. I changed his whole look. I, I shot his photos, I paid for everything. I'll reimburse you. It's not about the money. You have a whole roster of people that you represent, right? He's all I got. You have to give him back to me, please. I am begging you. You're sleeping with him, aren't you? No. Then why are you so obsessed with this kid? I am not obsessed with him. I recognize his talent. That's all. Don't give me that crap. I know all about you. This is just like New York. New York? Yeah. I heard about what you did. Fell in love with the talent. Client hit on him. You freaked out and pulled a knife on her. You're lucky they called it a nervous breakdown because they should have thrown you in jail. That's why you left the city and that's why you had to come out you have here. no right to bring that up. Yeah, I do. You know why? Because David is a minor and you, Jennifer, are dangerous. <gasps> do you say that? Listen, I read about you. I know what you did in college. That's where your little obsession problem started, didn't it? Taking pictures of your model boyfriend while he was driving, head on car crash, got the guy killed. What the hell were you thinking?
beautiful people. This is Andrea. You know what to do. Hey, Andrea. Hi. It's, uh, it's David. David Doolittle. I was, um, I know this is like the, the third message that I've left you. Um, but I just wanted to call you and let you know that I'm here. And, uh, if there's any jobs you think that are right for me, uh, please let me know. Thanks. Okay, I'm off to work. I'll talk to you later. Hey, have you, have you heard anything from Andrea recently at all? What? Actually, no. Have, hasn't she called you? No, I was supposed to have a phone meeting today and she didn't call me. Yeah, she's obviously a very busy woman. Look, if we don't hear from her in the next few days, I will check in with her. She's probably creating a campaign for you right now. Have a good day. Bye. Hey. <clears throat> I'm sure you don't have any time with Andrea booking you 24 seven, but a small electronics company needs a hot young guy to pose with their gear. It's not the big bucks that Andrea can get you, but it pays. It'd mean a lot to me if you did it. Of course, probably want to run it by Andrea first. You all right? Yeah. Um, Andrea's, uh, she's not returning any of my calls. Of course she's not. You honestly think with all the money she's making off of her big name models, she's going to drop everything and focus on you? Why would she do that? She signed me. I, I... To keep you in her back pocket just in case one of her top models decides to jump ship. You're just an extra candy bar in her purse, that's all. Yeah, she said that You she can't wanted... believe everything that you hear. I was trying to protect you, but you didn't trust me. I'm sorry. Should I listen to you? I I'd be happy to do the gig, please. It'd mean the world to me. Thank you. Now if you just help your team get ready for the big fashion show. I'd be super happy. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Say hello to yeah. your teacher. Uh, let's let's skip that for now. Excuse me. Yes. Hi. I'm Suzanne Doolittle. I'm David's mom. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. David is incredible. You should be very proud of your son. Yes, I am. I am. Um, could I have a word with you privately? Oh yeah, of course. Please. Um, I I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything that you've done for him. He was so shy before he started your class. It's really amazing how you've helped him with his self-confidence. Well, he is a natural. But if you ever take half-naked photos of him again alone, or force him to sign an illegal contract, I will not only get you fired, but I will call the cops and have you arrested. <laughs> Jennifer, stop! Jennifer, what are you doing? Stop, Jennifer! Let go! Are we clear? Absolutely. Thank you. Good night. What'd you say? Miss Higgins, that was an incredible class. This semester was so much fun. Well, it's not over yet. Hey, Glamour Boy. You on a date with your mommy? Hey, when are you gonna get that sex change operation? <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> David, let's go. <laughs> I 
I saw the way that Trey talked to you outside the assembly hall last night. Yeah, he's been treating me like that since grade school. Kind of used to it. It's only because you don't do anything to stop it. Guys like Trey are jealous. He can't handle that you're smarter and cooler than he is. I don't know about that. The only way to deal with those losers is to stand up to them. A woman was found dead tonight in her Hollywood Hills home, apparently the victim of a gang-related robbery homicide that police estimate happened 36 hours ago. Investigators tell us that the decomposing body of 33-year-old Andrea Rogers was found on her living room floor after neighbors complained of a strange odor emanating from her residence. Ms. Rogers was a top-level talent manager in the fashion industry. So far, police have no leads as to who killed Ms. Rogers all those spray paint graffiti found at the scene seem to indicate this was the work done by a nearby street gang. Hey, Doolittle, there's a rumor going around about you and that woman that was killed by the gangbangers. I heard she was your manager. Is that true? My agent. And yeah, she was. You know what's weird? First, my girlfriend gets all infatuated with you. She dies. And now this woman's dead. You think I killed them? Really? <laughs> You're too much of a pussy for something like that. I'm just saying it's a coincidence. Hey, I'm talking to you, dumbass. Get your hands off me. Show some respect, bitch. Good. Really good. Listen, um, I know it's your 18th birthday soon. You know, I thought maybe we could. David! Yeah. Yeah. That, that took a lot of guts. Thank you. Jay's been a jerk to everybody for years. I'm glad you kicked his butt. Caitlin, I think you need to get back to your class. Do you want to get coffee after school? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I'd love Do to. Do a little. My office, now! Call me after you get out of jail. Wipe that smile off your face. Yes, sir. Now! Bye. Caitlin! Could you stay for a moment, please? Miss Higgins, if this is about my use of bright colors in my clothing, um, it's sort of a stylistic thing. Have you ever thought about modeling? <laughs> I always thought you had a good sense of humor, but I wasn't sure until now. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm being dead serious. Okay, I appreciate your misguided attempts to boost my spirits, but no. I never thought about being a model. Thanks for the laugh, though. What? Have you ever considered a makeover, at least? <laughs> well, yeah. I've never... It's the best thing I ever did for myself. You'll love it. Okay, a makeover, maybe, but... It's not going to turn me into a folk model.
You're right. Miss Higgins, I'm sorry. This just doesn't come to me naturally. You know what? Let's just take a break. You need a little refreshment, hmm? Um, I shouldn't. Think of it as a rite of passage. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. All right. Yep. Let's put this on. Here. And uh, let's let's pull down the strap of your dress a skosh like it slipped off. Play with the back, like it's your new best friend. Um like this? Yes, I love it. Perfect. You know what? Let's drop the other strap. Are you sure? Yeah, like like you're teasing some guy. I don't know. No, oh, come on, it'll be great. Yes. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay. okay. I love it. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know what? Oh, what the hell? Wait, one second. <laughs> Let's lose the dress all together and go full negligee. What? Yes. Total tease. I don't know. Oh, your body is amazing. You're gonna look incredible in this. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Yes, Hi. yes, yes. <laughs> so cute. That's amazing. Oh, I love these. Yes. <laughs> okay. What? So we're down to the wire. This guy is salivating for <laughs> you. And the only thing that's between you and him is this towel. <laughs> Let's do okay. it. Yeah. Ready. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. See it. So great. Very nice. Okay. You sure you've never done this before? You're gonna love these. They look amazing. Ms. Higgins, I don't know what to say. How about I'm the hottest girl in school and everybody wants me? Go ahead. Say it loud and proud. I'm the hottest girl in school and... And everybody wants me. And everybody wants me. <laughs> if it's all right with you, I'd like to send these to some managers I know. Get you some representation and I'm sure they can find you work. How's that sound? Sure. What the hell? I think I drank too much. I think I got what I needed. Thanks, you guys. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get out of this dress. It's itchy. Hey, Jennifer. I just wanted to thank you for today. And every day. Remember when you said I, I could tell you anything? I meant it. The thing is, it's... <laughs> yeah? I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard for me to say. You can do it. I'm in love. With Caitlin. It's the real deal. I'll just say she's a lucky girl. Hey, Boo. Yeah. Could you help me with the zipper? Sure thing. Hey. Hi. 
just got a text. Read this. Saw your recent photo spread. You're stunning. You'd make a great addition to my stable of actresses if you're willing to do porn. You're not actually doing this. Oh my god. Ew. No, thank you. I'm not willing to ever. Please don't contact me again. Send. Nice studio. Where are the girls? Wow, oh, it's just you, me, and the camera today, Nick. Oh, okay, cool. So what? You're just gonna put the camera on the tripod there, and you and I are gonna do it over here? Oh no, I'm just gonna take pictures of you. I'm gonna stay behind the camera. You sure? I mean, you're in great shape, and frankly, I could use a new scene partner. Thanks uh, for the compliment, but the, it's all about you today. You sure? I mean, I'll do it with anyone you want. Hello, craft services girl. Nick, we're alone, so that that won't be necessary. Okay. Well, can I take my clothes off at least? Knock yourself out. Good. Terrific. That's it. Love it. Yeah. Wonderful, you're working it. It's great. Perfect. Okay, great. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do with this? Let your imagination run wild. Great. Yes. 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 You're one hundred percent sure your mom's at work and she's not going to two hundred percent sure. Okay. Am I going too fast? I don't know. Maybe. I'm I've still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we're not going there. Hey, man whore. Yes, you. You need to see this. Let's go. No. Let me deal with it. What? Check it out. Oh. Oh, and look at this one. What is he talking about? Oh, I think you know what we're talking about, baby. Get your girlfriend. Go for it, bro. Hey, porn star. You look great. Ow! I don't understand. What is this? Those are fake. That's photoshopped. Oh, that bitch. Basically it. It's all about the lighting. Everything else doesn't really matter. You tricked me! You made me wear those clothes. You made it look like, like I was with that guy. I would never, never do those things. What things are you talking about? I did not pose with a porno actor. Oh my God. Caitlin, let's discuss this outside. No, we can do it here, in front of everyone. Okay. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. When did this supposedly happen? Supposedly? I wrote it down. It was six weeks ago. Saturday, October 10th, at your place. Everyone here knows that I do photo shoots at my loft. It's, it's not really a surprise. 
But I, I was in San Diego with my friends on that Saturday. Prove it. This is me with my friends Tracy and Melissa at Chester's by the Beach in La Jolla. It's a great hotel. Awesome margaritas. <laughs> See the timestamp? Saturday, October 10th. It's Tracy's birthday. My treat. It's a lie! You photoshopped this too! It's a fake! You are a fake! She is! David! I'm telling the truth! I can't believe this. David, wait. David! Take your seat. Take your seat. Turn to page 76 in your textbooks, please. I didn't do this. The thing is, even if she did do that shoot, I don't care. That's how much I love her. Look, those photos of her are out there forever. Whether she denies it or not, people are always gonna see her like that. If you maintain a relationship with her, then you risk losing all of the great jobs that are coming your way. I never really thought of it like that. That's what I'm here for, to keep you on track. Thank you, Miss Higgins. I mean... Thank you, Jennifer. It's over. My manager called and dropped me. None of my friends, the two that I have, are answering my texts. My mom and dad interrogated me for like three hours. I don't think they believe me. If I didn't have you, I don't know what I'd do. I'm gonna prove that I didn't do that porn shoot. Miss Higgins is gonna pay. I'm gonna talk to the school and make sure she gets fired. Look. I know it sounds crazy, but... Did you actually do the porn shoot? I... I mean, the photos, the photos look so real. I can understand why people might be confused by it. Confused? I don't even care if you did this shoot. You don't care about... Great. You're just like Trey. What? You're just like all the other guys at school. Get out of my car. What? Get out! Sorry. <laughs> she made it look like there was an older guy there. That's exactly what happened. Yes, I was wrong to drink the beer. I was wrong to wear those clothes. Most of all, I was wrong to trust her. I uh, appreciate your candor, Caitlin. I'll look into this. Caitlin and I had a long talk this morning. Ugh, I know. She stopped coming to class after her adult photos hit the campus. It's such a pity. She had so much potential. You know, I still think she does. She told me her side of the story. Her side? Yeah. I don't follow. And she said that you gave her the beer and you told her to dress in those provocative clothes and she insisted that she was alone with you, that there was no gentleman in the room. I have been working with young people for years and there is a certain type of girl, a rebellious type, who will try anything just for the thrill of it. Are we talking about the same person? Caitlin? Yes, oh. Caitlin. She's embarrassed that she did the job, and now she wants to blame it on me. I wasn't even in town the weekend she had those pictures taken. Well, you got a point. But 
is still your word against hers. What could I possibly have to gain by taking those photos? I'm not gonna risk my career. I I've worked too hard. Mm -hmm. We have a backlog of students signed up for my class next semester and the one after that, do we not? It's just, it's, it's too bad that there's always one troublemaker to mess it all up. Except in this case. I think that troublemaker is you. I think Caitlin's telling the truth. What? You're fired. Pack up your things and get off my campus. Caitlin, Caitlin, wait, hold on. Can I, can I talk to you, please? Look, I just want to apologize for what I said in your car, okay? It was wrong. I, I'm sorry. It's too late for that. Caitlin, all I know is I want to be with you. You ready? Yeah. Is he bothering you? No. Not anymore. Hey, Miss Higgins. What's going on? I was fired. What? Why? Caitlin. I'm sorry. I... I really am. I could really use a friend right now. Would you want to go get a coffee with me? Thank you. Spanish coffee. Salud. You know I'm under 21, right? Actually, I don't know that. Okay, slow down. This <laughs> is not a contest. <laughs> oh. Two more. You got it. Ooh. So, um, what are, what are you gonna do now? Um, I'll probably leave town, start over someplace new. What about managing me? I'm, I'm not mad at you. I don't think um, Caitlin would like the idea of you and I continuing to work together. Caitlin and me, um, that's over, totally. I really don't want you to go. I need my manager. Would you help me take my gear back to the loft? Thank you so much for helping me bring my stuff in. I'm not really doing anything. You need a drink. Wait, I mean, I've already had too much to drink already. Spanish coffee is for lightweights. This is the real deal. To David and Jennifer. The two most talented people I know. To Jennifer and David. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm okay. I don't think this is... Exactly. Don't think.
I'll get back to you. No. No, the honor's all mine. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Okay, bye. Well, good morning. I know your head hurts, but I need you to listen to me. I just got offered the most incredible job of my entire life. It's shooting world-famous models in their home countries. It's a year-long global journey. It's mind-blowing money. But it's not worth going without you. What do you say? Absolutely not. He still has six months left of high school. And if he goes with you, he's gonna miss the first semester of college. Suzanne, I understand your concern, but think of it this way. This is a chance of a lifetime for David. It's an all expense paid trip around the world. He'd be working with the most famous models on the planet. With this campaign, David can take care of you. He could buy you a new house. And, and, and what's wrong with this house? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything. Yes, you did. All I'm saying is that you have a supermodel sitting here and you're telling me absolutely not? With all due respect, when it comes to my business, you don't know what you're talking about. What is your business? You're a photographer. Wow, that must be really hard. You push buttons on a camera. Imagine. But do you have any kids? Hmm? You, ever, you ever raised a family all by yourself with no child support? No, I know what's best for my son. You don't. He's 18. Let's let him decide. Yes, let's. I want to go with Jennifer. My mom again. She's been calling you all day. Don't answer, you know what she's gonna say. Hi, Mrs. Doolittle. Hey, Caitlin. I'm so sorry to bother you, but um, have you seen David? No, actually. We broke up, you know that. Told me the entire story, Caitlin, and I just want to say that I am on your side in all of this. I know you would never in a million years take those pictures. Yeah, the whole thing's a real mess. My parents are talking to lawyers trying to get the photos taken off the internet. So you don't know where he is? I guess I do. He he's run off with Jennifer Higgins. What? So he's living with her? They are I don't know. They're they're supposed to go to some trip around the world and I just, I haven't heard from him all weekend. And if you hear from him, would you just please have him call me? I will. Thanks. Bye. Hi. You're early. I know. So what was that about? I'll tell you about it in the car. What time does the movie start? Look, I think we need to talk. Hey, Jen? Yeah? Shouldn't we be halfway around the world right now? Babe, we talked about this. They postponed it. No, it's just been two weeks since they hired you. I mean, how long does something like this take? What this organization is trying to do, it, it's monumental. It just took a little more planning than they thought, that's all. Come on. Uh, you not right now, okay? Yeah, okay. Hi. Hi. 
Are you okay? No. What's going on? Nothing, I... I just want to call and say I miss you. Well, what about Greg? He dumped me, like a wad of gum. It was so humiliating. I don't know what I was thinking. I miss you so much. Caitlin, I... I just... Don't ever call him again, do you understand me? He's with me now. Me! Why'd you have to do that? She needed to talk to me. Oh, boo-hoo. You don't have to feel sorry for her. Okay, she got greedy and she wanted to make a couple extra bucks and she messed up her career. So much potential, but she couldn't keep her panties on. Don't look at me like that. She would have dragged you down and you know it. You should be thanking me for protecting you. Yeah, but you didn't have to treat her like dirt. You're right. You're totally right. I, I went too far. I'll call her and apologize later. Sorry. Caitlin, listen, I'm just walking in the door. Can I call you back? It's really important. Can we please talk now? Okay, uh, I'm listening. thinking about her, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah. Where are you going? Just gonna step outside, get some fresh air. I'll be right back. David. Mom? What, have you been waiting in the car? What are you doing here? You're not answering your phone, and I need to talk to you. About what? Caitlin called me. Yeah, she told me just how your teacher yelled at her. I can't believe this. I can't believe you. I went online, and I found out some things about Miss Higgins. Great, so now you're stalking Jennifer, too. What, what do you know about her? I know she's the most amazing woman that I've ever met. She's got a history of mental illness. She's had numerous affairs with her male models. But each one of them is ending up in some big public breakup, and each one is getting more and more violent. So, so people spread nasty rumors. OK, last year, in New York, she went ballistic during a shoot when her boy toy was flirting with some other woman, and a lot of people saw it. This is such an issue. Then why would clients keep hiring her, Mom? I don't know, because she's incredibly talented. That's not the point. What the point is that she keeps obsessing over these male models, and now she's obsessing over you. How can you not see this? Okay, look, I, I, I get that I have been overprotective. I regret that, but I am afraid that she's gonna go nuts and pull out a knife on you or something. Are you finished? Will you please come home? Good night, Mom. Don't come here again.
Morning. Hey. Hey? Yeah. No, it's not smiling. It's sexier. Come on. Give me sexy. What's with you today? What? It's like you've forgotten everything that I've told you. I, I'm, no. I'm doing what you said. It's not happy plastic people. The clients want dark, they want smoldering, edgy man on campus, so let's get with the program and do that. Okay, all right, I got it, I got it. It's no, fine. you don't, because it's about the stance. You obviously left yours in grade school. Where are you going? I need a minute. You didn't go to the bathroom because I didn't hear the toilet flush. I asked you a question. What were you doing in the bathroom? I was texting. Caitlin. What the hell for? I'm gonna go see her. You leaving me? Yeah. I am. I don't want to model for you anymore, or anybody. I just want to finish school and go back to living a normal life. You mean sad, dull, pointless life you had before me? Yeah, exactly. That. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know I can be a little bit testy sometimes, but I can make it up to you, please. Let me just make it up to you, please. <laughs> This is over, okay? It was over the day you lied about traveling the world, all right? I just want to be with you all the time. What's so wrong with that? Please, I know I can be a little dramatic sometimes. A little? I'm, I'm fine now, see? been lying to me this whole time? Why would you do that to him? I did so that we could be together! Well, my mom was right. You are sick in the head. You can't say that to me. You're not gonna leave me. You're my beautiful David. You're not gonna leave me. I'm out of here. Okay? I can't believe you talked me into moving in with you. I can't even believe you talked me into any of this. I can't believe... <gasps> Caitlin, hi. I just heard from David. He's gonna leave Jennifer. Oh. oh, thank God. He's alone at her apartment, so I'm gonna go help him pack up his stuff so he can come home. Oh, that's great. But, I, I, Caitlin, I, I don't think that you should go over there. She's not there. I'll be fine. I'll call you when we're leaving and maybe... The three of us could grab dinner. Why don't I make us dinner, huh? Mom, you like pizza? Um, who doesn't? Okay, I'll see you both when we get here.
turn around. Why are you doing this? Because he needs to learn that he can't leave me. I've worked too hard on him! You're gonna teach him a lesson! Punish him. Do it, or I'll shoot you. Harder. I like it. Here. Cut his face. Please. Please don't make me. Do it! You're gonna make it so no one will look at him again, ever. Give me something medieval, Caitlin. I want a thousand cuts from his forehead down to the base of his neck. No. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> You're going to have to shoot me. Fine. Ah! I gave you everything. I made you. Your beauty. Your money. Your swagger. I gave it all to you. You think you can get rid of me and just go back to her? After everything I've done for you! If I can't have your beautiful face, then no one can. Oh, David. Oh. You signed a contract. Exclusive. I own the property. So if I want to destroy the property, so that no one else can profit from it, well, then I'm well within my rights. Lights! Playback! You broke my heart. Sweet. You two look like something out of a magazine. I really did love you. My son and his girlfriend have been shot. Uh, Caitlin. I'm okay. We're locating your position via GPS, ambulance, and route. Yes, hurry, please. Hang on, honey. Hang on, it's okay. I really messed up, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Doolittle. Hey, Doolittle. I've been looking all over for you. 
What's up? I just got a call from an agent, Beverly Hills. He saw your photos from the school's fashion show, and he wants to represent you. You know, it's been a while since I've done that, right? Uh, David, listen to me. This guy's the real deal. I think you should definitely call him. Caitlin, uh, want to give us a moment? Uh, sure. David, I know you've gone through a lot, but I don't think you understand the magnitude of this. What'd you tell him? What do you think I told him?